Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're doing really great. And we will be looking at what is currently going on across the Atlantic Basin, as well as the potential of seeing a tropical wave try to develop as we head into next week, go into the other week. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so, and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Alright, so as we take a look at the Atlantic here, we can see that tropical wave in the vicinity of the Cabo Verde Islands and there are a couple more out there across the region and so uh, not all of these waves that are emerging will be developing and so on average each year there are around 60 tropical waves and surely we don't have 60 named storms. So only a small percentage of that number actually develop into tropical cyclones and especially now as we're in August and going to September, we're going to be seeing a lot more of these waves get themselves together and develop and this is the most active uh, time period here that is about to begin in the hurricane season and so uh, we're seeing that there is quite a bit of activity in association with that tropical wave right now and it is going to try to get itself together but there is a lot of dry air out there and that is a huge inhibiting factor for tropical cyclone development so let's go on to the dry air map and here we can see it uh, those areas Areas of a lot more dry air marked by those shades of oranges going to those reds and even that pinkish shade right there so a lot of dry air especially to the north of it so overall uh, not a very conducive region right now to see some intensification but I think it will try to get itself together and especially as it heads over to the western Atlantic maybe move into the vicinity of the Bahamas possibly the Gulf it could try to develop into something and so we will be looking at that later down in this video so let us go ahead and drift further to the west let's go to northern south america and here we can see lots of thunderstorms across some spots in uh colombia going to venezuela guyana and Suriname as well some of those thunderstorms developing this morning and especially as we head to this afternoon there's going to be a lot more activity abc islands pretty much in the clear right now as the islands have been it is pretty dry and hot there and then as we head up north uh here we can see that there isn't a whole lot happening right now across the region. There is some activity over in the Northwestern Caribbean, over into some parts of Central America, some cloud cover across some spots in the Cayman Islands here and there. Uh, nothing much going on for Jamaica, going to Cuba, some thunderstorms near Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands in the clear, as well as for most of the Lesser Antilles. A bit of activity passing through some areas, but nothing much is happening right now. And so how about the rainfall activity through today let's look at what the models have to show starting with gfs and uh, here we have it so this is as we head throughout most of today and then those shades of yellows oranges reds that is where we find a lot more rainfall activity and so over into some parts of venezuela guyana colombia going up to guatemala uh, mexico that is where a lot of rainfall activity is uh, expected today and other surrounding areas could receive some rainfall as well just not as much as those areas trinidad to be Go not expected to receive much rainfall today. ABC Islands likely to be in the clear. And then as we take a look at the uh, Lesser Antilles, we see that uh, it is pretty much likely that there will be some isolated showers and thunderstorms across the area. Nothing too crazy. Similar story as we head to uh, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands. Looking to Hispaniola though, especially in the Dominican Republic, there might be a lot of rainfall as we head to later today and a lot of heavy rainfall in a very short amount of time can result in flooding. So if you're there guys, please take the necessary precautions and stay safe. Uh, maybe some isolated activity across some parts of Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, the Bahamas, and uh, especially go into South Florida. And Euro is kind of in agreement with this. We're not seeing as much rainfall expected for the Lesser Antilles. Uh, Euro also showing that there is going to be a bit more rainfall across Trinidad and Tobago compared to GFS. And um, guys, please know that these are models here and these are predictions and uh, they will be off sometimes. And so now moving on to the ensemble members from the uh, GFS model first. And so this goes out to the end of next week, next Saturday, heading into next Sunday. And here we can see a lot going on. Uh, all of these different members up here, therefore that first tropical wave, that tropical wave that I highlighted earlier. Uh, so that is what the GFS is expecting, that we won't see much development as it makes its way across the main development region. But as it moves to the northwest, moving 
into the vicinity of the Bahamas. We could see it try to get itself together. And as for something in the Caribbean, the ensemble members are not really expecting that to happen as we're going to be heading uh, throughout this time frame here. So GFS ensemble members not expecting much from the Atlantic moving into the Caribbean. Head into the Euro ensemble members. A couple of these are for that uh, current tropical wave out there, but majority of them show that a second one will be making its way into the Caribbean and possibly developing into something. So uh, a lot of the Euro Ensemble members expecting that we will have something making its way into the Caribbean, maybe as a tropical storm or so. And this is as we're going to be heading into the end of next week. So pretty interesting stuff here from both of these models. And we're going to have a better picture of what will happen as time goes by as we head closer and closer to this time frame here. So maybe by early next week, uh, we'll have a pretty good picture but as of right now, that current tropical wave is not highlighted for development, but I think that uh, the NHC might do so. And let's wait and see for that next tropical wave to emerge, what could happen with it. But uh, finally, we're going over into the Eastern Pacific, looking at major hurricane Dora, the second major hurricane and the fourth hurricane and named storm of the 2023 Pacific hurricane season. Take a look at it, looking as though it is undergoing an eyewall replacement placement cycle and that is basically when another eyewall develops and replaces the old one so that can even result in some fluctuations in the intensity of it but i think it has a pretty good chance of strengthening a bit more so current sustained winds are 130 miles per hour ranking this as a category 4 hurricane on the Safir simpson hurricane wind scale and it is moving westward at 17 miles per hour so it should remain a major hurricane as we head throughout uh today and going into tomorrow as well but gradual weakening is expected as the system continues westward and it will encounter some stronger wind shear some cooler water temperatures as well as some drier and more stable conditions and it is expected to pass well to the south of the hawaiian islands as we're going to be heading into early next week so likely not going to be a problem for hawaii so that is what is happening right now guys and of course i will continue to keep you posted so that you're never caught off guard and that is pretty much it for now and so again there isn't a whole lot happening across the caribbean right now but as we head to this afternoon there might be some uh, thunderstorms storms popping up across some spots maybe bringing some heavy rainfall to some areas as well there's that uh, tropical wave out there that could try to get itself together but again a lot of dry air is out ahead of it and that could prevent any significant intensification to, uh, from taking place and over in the pacific there is hurricane dora not a current threat to land but is a very powerful cyclone over there right now so that is what I wanted to share with you guys in this update and I hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments I will respond once I get the chance and as always remember to be weatherwise.